And it's on that note that I will start the re-review of the FIO FT5. Hi, I'm Zio Spinteri, your host of Inner Fetish, Wallpaper in the Horde, Mousepad in the description. And these are the best FIO. They've always been. It's always been. And they're so good when I reviewed them on my old channel, on, well, the old channel, on the big channel. You know, it was probably one of like a series of three IMs. And when I was doing individual or non-individual IM videos, when it was like a group of four, they'd be like, this one's the best or this one's pretty good for this. And you sort of got lost in the shuffle. There's a reason I'm reviewing them now. Because my original set of FD5s never got sold. They got gifted to a certain Canadian lady who was like, I really want to try some good IMs. And these were the ones I picked. I picked them off the shelf in this beautiful case, and I was like, here, take these to Canada and try these. And that's where they live now. So I was emailing Fio for other things. I got a new set of headphones coming out. They have the, the, the Q7 and things. I'm like, hey, literally randomly was like, well, you guys want to do like a collaboration thing? Because they're pretty popular right now. I've got this other one. And they were like, yes. So when they asked me which I am I want to play with, like to like play with the tuning and I could do things with, this is the only one. So they sent me a stock set of FD5s, and we are at ground zero. It's what, beginning of April, end of, end of March. All they've done is send me one set of stock sets. I haven't done anything with back and forth with them yet. And honestly, I don't know if I really want to. Um, they're a dynamic. One of the reasons I'm excited for this, and I don't want to, you know, brush off my other collabs. Rinko's coming out soon. Hundred dollars. Oh my god. Planar and dynamic. This is a pure twelve millimeter dynamic, and that's it. And I love my pure dynamics. I've got the illuminations. I've got the uh, Dunu Zen Pros. I've got the uh, what the hell? Is it? Oh, the the Soft Years Twilights. Those are all single dynamics. And I guess the blonde, is the blonde? No, the blonde's got some other shit going on in it too for that collaboration that's upcoming. Um, th these, these, these. I remember what I said about them in the original review. I said that these were the equivalent of like a 1970s big old speaker, like a fucking heresy. Not the new heresies, like heresy ones. I remember saying that. And I don't know if just times have changed or my years have changed or the tip qualities have changed or something changed. But I've been fucking around with these FD5s now for a couple days. Um, I put the 4.4 tip on it because it has options. Um, and I got now the x -lastics. I went through the... These are my new tips that are coming with the Rinko. These are the uh, render tips. I had the Daconis on there because I figured like Daconis have always been like the default. But playing around with some tips because... Let me show you what, the, what tips this comes with. Hold on. Showed you the case already. Look, look at the presentation also. Right now, this is still available for $280. You get big box, classy, classy, not an anime waifu on it. That's a flaw. We'll get to it. You pull out the innards. You get this beautiful piece, the heart, born for music, this, the whole. Look at this tip selection you get. The, the, the feel fucking gamut. It's upside down. Bass ear tips, vocal ear tips, tri-flange tips, balance tips, memory foam tips, all mediums, by the way, which is the only reason I can't use the foam tips. I need a large to my right. Um, but, like, it comes with, what do you need? You need the the thing to separate. Because it's MMCX because it's a FIO. I don't think I can convince FIO to put a two-pin on theirs. What are the odds of that? Um, you get the puller. You get different nozzles. Unlike, like, the... Um, Well, I can't remember the name of the goddamn... This is a problem with starting a video. Your brain goes, no, no, remember Kato's. Unlike the Moondrop Kato's that have the brass or silver uh, screw-in nozzles, because you can unscrew this nozzle here. Unlike, and actually, this is the only... This is the feel that actually lets you unscrew the entire nozzle and not just the fucking filter on the end. Thank you, Fia. Remember when you were good at that? I shouldn't fucking make fun of them. I'm about to collaborate with them. Um, but they had a, a detachable nozzles that were a different size. These are the small nozzles for, like, different size tips. And I, you have to use them if you want to use the tri-flange tips. But it changes the two... I can't get this bag open. It changes the tuning entirely. And I would not force anyone to use these little bastards just to use the tri-flange tip. Like the, okay, see it, look, uh, oh, God. Can I even get this out of here? Because there's no hole in the back to push. There you go. Look, look at that. 
So if you want to put your tri-flange chip on, you got to put on the small nozzle, and then you could do that. But that really, that's a massive tuning change because you're literally restricting the hole from that to like that. Um, and here's your, what else we got in here? Earwax cleaner, your your interchangeable heads, either 3.5 or 2.5. I would probably, do you guys think, what do you guys in the comments? 2.5? Yes, no? Just don't include it? Or if they have it already, like, well, I'm not going to say just don't include it because I'm a dick. But yeah, no. These IMs represented the actual peak of FIO at the time. I thought it was at the time, and I thought they were going to get bigger and better things. In fact, there's a FIO FD7 that someone pointed out, when I, or I found when I was looking through it. Here's here's the Amazon page, because it's really only on Amazon. Here's the 7. This one, these that I'm looking at, 280. The FD7s are on here for 460. And I'm like, well, do you want to send me those? And they literally told me, no, we're discontinuing them. What happened? What did I miss? It's this, it's the flagship 12 millimeter pure beryllium diaphragm driver. It's the thing that's the same as this. Why would you keep selling and want to collaborate on the FD5 if the FD7 exists, which should be the newer and better? And they literally told me, no, we're not. And I'm just like, all right, you know what? Modern FIO has had issues to the point where on this channel, this inner fetish channel, I have pointed them out. And be like, you know what? I just want to. I want to feel that fucking works. The last feels I did, the teardrop shaped ones, which I can't remember the name of, were like those are pretty good feels, pretty damn good feels. They're not this. Let's get to the sound on these because I had originally thought they were very, very. <sighs> I had a couple things flash while I was listening to these today. I brought in a bunch of amplifiers. I got the two woos, I got the seven and the eleven. I got the Gashelli uh, Art. Irish Balance, I got the new Sparkos, I got the Odin X1S GT, people complain I don't listen to on mobile things, I was listening to it on the new X2O XP2 Pro, which is somewhere here, I don't know, shit's everywhere, um, I had them on the Death on Ray Pegasus, I used them, alright, I used them all the time, everywhere. More so than most, because hey, you might be doing a collab, you gotta figure out what to change. The thing is, Every one of these amplifiers, and this is the rarest thing I've had in an IM in a while. They sound different per amplifier. There's either a mild change or a major change. Like the Sparkos, you plug it in, you don't even know where the fuck to put the volume. But none of the things I've plugged them into, including the high output impedance own, the super soft wall 11, or the fucking tube amp versus the balance versus the Sparkos, none of them sound better bad and that's the key the key to a great thing like the like the fucking uh meze lyrics or the meze elites is you can plug them into anything and they sound great but those sound the same these sound slightly different more bassy or more airy or wider sound stage or more direct like the own x1 sgt is like fucking in your face but i still like it like, it isn't like if I plugged it in here, it's like, oh, I don't like this I am, and I plug it in here, and I like this I am. I plug it into all these, and I like it in a different way. And I think that would be the greatest thing to offer is a collaboration. Well, no, we're, not, we're, not promoting a collab ugh, we're not promoting a collaboration here because that hasn't happened yet. Anything could happen. AI could destroy the world. Um, please let that not be a poorly dated comment. <sighs> AI might have drawn her. No, her hands are too good. Um, the sound on these. I put on, through shuffling, the soundtrack to the movie uh, Tenet, which, as you all know, is a clusterfuck of a movie. I watched it with my brother on a fucking 150-inch screen with some perfect surround sound, all Dirac corrected, and you couldn't hear what the fuck they were saying. It also felt like they were trying to film five movies in one movie. It was like there were five scripts, and they were just like, I don't know, just fold them like a deck of cards. Just keep folding them on each other and shuffle them and fold them around and here you go. It was, it's good. It's, 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 I don't want to watch it again, but it was a movie. Anyway, I have the soundtrack for it and uh, I can't knock the soundtrack because obviously uh, my boy uh, there, Ludwig Goransson, who did the community soundtrack and a couple other good ones, did the soundtrack for this. And the, sh the song Sator, S-A-T-O-R came on, 
And it's just bass. And then I went back and like looking at the other ones. Like, what was the other one I played? Betrayal, Prosperity, Retrieving the Thing, Freeport Inversion. Basically, this whole soundtrack fucks. Oh, The Plan. Okay, the song of The Plan from the Tenet soundtrack is the most bass ever. And I, I was tempted to put it in the sound demo for sound demo testing, but I feel like it'll just be distortion and it's just a, it'll be a pain in the ass to even put it in there. So I put on the plan from the Tenet OST with these, with these tips, with specifically the x Elastics tips, and the low end is gargantuan. Like my whole body feels like I'm just... But it's it these IMs contain everything that I love about a dynamic. They're not super expensive. They're under three hundred now. I'm sure if I did the collab, it'd probably be three hundred even. If I have them add things to it, if we add different tips, I did by the way try the Moondrop Cato screw on tips because they actually are almost compatible. They they screwed in the threads felt a little weird, but it did tighten on, and I did not like either of those Cato tips. On these, one just made it sort of like less bass, and one made it absolutely terrible. Then I went back to the stock tips, and I was like, yeah, brah. I just want to blow my brains out with low end. Um, much more direct, narrower, focused, but clearer on this. We go, we go into this, so the most different is here. Now the vocals are like sideways. But I like it anyway. You, you put it, and um, it's the most engaging sounding dynamic. Like when I praise the shit out of a high end dynamic, the softer Twilight, uh, the Illumination probably comes the closest to these, where the Illumination is blatantly for fun, for funsies. It's a nine hundred dollar IM for funsies. Um, but like things like the Dunu Zen Pro, those are very clean, especially the Dunu Zen Pros are clean, linear, single dynamics. They're there to be natural and you're supposed to listen to concerts on them. And I feel like these FD5s are here to fuck around a little bit and have some fun. And that's perfect. Especially at the price point, we're talking about one quarter of the price of those thousand dollar dynamics. But it still has the cohesion and the vocal clarity and the sound stage that I expect out of a 12 millimeter dynamic. That's bigger than most. My God, that is such an it's such an angry bass note too. And I could feel it in my chest. Stone Temple Pilots comes on, Lady Picture Show. Lighter, 90s rock. It was 90s? What year is this from? Can't tell. And it's not oppressive bass because there's no oppressive bass in this song. It doesn't make your songs bassy. That's a big misconception about IMs and headphones that do bass well. People will think that it's a bassy headphone. No, 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 no. It's an honest headphone or it's an honest IM. This song has tremendous bass. And guess what? You can fucking hear it. And when it doesn't have tremendous bass, when it's Stone Temple Pilots, it's just exactly how you remember this song sounding when you listen to it in 2003 on your shitty fucking radio. Because it's not that well recorded. It just brings out the exact honest truth of everything. I will say on the tubes, it gets a little bit brighter. And this one, this one... This one and this one are all sharing the same DAC. I got to talk about the Gashelli Labs distribution DAC I'm working on with them. The only one that's got a different DAC and using actually the musician Pegasus R2R is this. It's kind of like the warmest, like subtle tones in there. So like the changes in sound make it very hard for me to give a proper review where I'm going to be like, hello, you want to buy this IEM. Here is what it's going to sound like. Eh. Because I don't know what you're going to play it on. You could play it on your fucking phone. If I swapped it out to the 3.5 millimeter and threw it on my Sony's phone, that's a whole different way it's going to sound. All I can assess for you is that on the average of all of these things, I don't hate it to the point where it's fantastic. Welcome to Z Reviews. Does he not hate it? He doesn't hate it so much so that he's actually recommending it. 
and actually would like to co in fact i don't even still know what i would do for a collab i was hoping that the kato screwing things would be like different enough that i could be like oh i like this but let's try this other one or maybe i get an extra set of tips and poke out the fucking filters see what happens if i just free ball them which i might still end up doing if i get the other tips back from princess pasta um I hearing I'm hearing this review and I'm not hearing me describe the sound well enough. So let's stick to an amp. Let's pretend there's one amp that exists. It would be this one. This is my go-to right now. The Shelly Labs Erish One. Yeah, I'm just being presented with sound. It's all right. My old r r discussion of it sounds like you're listening to 1970s, like heresy speakers, probably stands. But now, just improve them. Maybe heresy force. Now it's like we've got the cleanliness, but like old guitar, like guitars, like open end guitars, something, something natural, just comes across that way. It doesn't sound artificial. There's a warmth to things that include Beatles Revolution 1, the original. Actually, this is the remaster, the 1987 remaster, because, you know, technology in the 80s. Can't wait for AI to completely redo the Red Hot Chili Peppers. I've mentioned this now two videos in a row. Red Hot Chili Peppers sucks for recording quality. We're going to feed them the songs and be like, just reproduce the sound of guitars and singing just better, please. And they'll do it. The AI council will do it. Yeah, there's just imaging. They're singing, but like up above me. And then there's just horns. It's what you want to be. Just all in the. <sighs> These are the best for you. You don't need to know anything else. If you've ever listened to any I am and it's any of them bit of Fio and it's not been the FT5. These are going to be better than those. FA7s, FH7s, FH5s. FH5s were the queens for a while. But these take them. Yeah, there's just energetic and warm. These are just an energetic warm. By the way, these vents in the back actually are open, I believe. Hold on. Very little. I could hear... Sound is definitely protruding through those vented holes. You can see the vents better on the image. I I I think these these are the choice. These are the pick of the of the litter. You can feel the magnetics. They won't let them touch. They like float there because they're a big neodymium magnet. Um, yeah, for dynamics, these probably the most affordable single dynamics that I would absolutely drop kick everybody in the face for. It's it is an MMCX, which is unfortunate. Uh, it's very tight on this because it's a brand new set. I know people some have problems. There are adapters if I wanted to use, like, uh, what's it called cable that would make this a little bit longer. They make right angle adapters that sort of come out and up or 45 degree. So, yeah, um, if you're interested in the best FIO the FIO currently makes, grab a set of these. They're a fucking steal at under $300. If you want to wait for the collaboration I do with them, you probably got a couple months on there because Feel is just real slow with emails, and I don't know how the fuck we're going to make that happen. But uh, I'm going to try to do something with these, either include better tips, maybe do a color change, maybe do the FD7 uh, like shell instead of the silver, because it is kind of like, they're a little gaudy, but I kind of like it. It's like Gotham City proper on here. It's fun. Either way, if you have FD5s, just come into the comments and, and jack off about how good they are. They're fucking so nice. They're so well put together. And they just, they have this, the, the wire, I didn't even talk about the wire. Like you got the, the interchangeable head wire where this slides down and you pop this out. Like it's actually a good system. And the wire itself is like probably as good a wire as Fio ever made. What are we looking at here? An eight wire? Eight wire up to four or is this three? No, it's a six wire up to three. But it's, it's, it's like heavy duty. I, I like it. I like everything about this. I like the case. I like the packaging minus the waifus. The tips it comes with is varied and wild. Although I do not like the individual smaller tunnels to go for the triple flange. But either way, this is going to be interesting. Because I want to want you to, I want you to want these. 
but I might want you to want to wait to see what I could do with them. Because they're so good as it is, and I'm just like, I don't know if I want to do this or this or this or do you want to add this. I would love, if I can do a different nozzle that just does, I don't know, less bass? I don't know. We'll talk about it in the future. Or maybe I'll do updates. If you want to guys want to know anything about my future collab updates, uh, patrons get that shit immediately. It's a very rare occasion I'm announcing it publicly well into the early stages or something. Haven't signed any contracts. Uh, just just the, the thought of it. Like a nice, now everyone's going to be like, oh, now I got a competition $300 fucking uh, dynamic to compete with the Z, the Z brand. The Z, the ZD5 or FDZ. FDZ. Yes. Already got the name. Keep it simple. They would barely have to change anything. Just turn the five around. Anyway, wallpaper in the horde. If you don't know how to get the wallpaper in the horde, go watch my video on the second channel about Rosilio Sync. It explains how that works and how everyone who has all of my wallpapers, if they leave the program running, it's torrent protocol. It basically shares the wallpapers. Anyone new gets all the wallpapers from everybody, and then we all have all our wallpapers, which is great for backup purposes for me also. Um, but yeah, no, I'm done, you're done, we're done, mouse pad, these, that. Thank you for being patrons and subscribe, star subscribers. Sorry these videos are long. I'm still like fucking hung over from the 24 hour live stream even though it's the day after the day after the day after i've now had three sleeps since i was up 24 hours and it's still not great anyway moving along